Their one purpose, the sole reason for their existence, is to knock enemy planes out of the sky. They are P-38s, and they rank with the fastest and best fighters in the air today. Now, the fact that this is a two-engine airplane does not mean that it's a difficult airplane to fly. On the other hand, the two engines do give it a wide range of performance and extra margins of safety. Some hangar expert insists that it is impossible to bail out of the 38 because of the twin booms and rudders and because of the horizontal stabilizer span. The truth is that it is no easier or harder to bail out of the 38 than out of any single-seater fighter. Bailouts can be made either, one, by turning the plane on its back and dropping out, or two, by getting out the left window and sliding down the wing. Now, don't stand on the wing to jump. The span of the horizontal stabilizer just doesn't affect the bailout. At high speeds, the airflow carries any object straight back and under the empennage, which is actually higher than the wing. Therefore, the only portion of the empennage which is critical is that portion directly aft of the bailout area. Thus, it doesn't matter whether the empennage has a 20-foot span or a 100-foot span. The critical area is still the same. Furthermore, on the 38, there's no vertical stabilizer which can get in the way. Actually, however, the object isn't to bail out of your ship, but to make the other fellow bail out of his. In the 38, you have a weapon which will help you do just that.